Hello everyone and welcome to Indie Voice. It's 2020. Happy belated new year. So to start us off with this new year, we're looking at Darksiders Genesis, developed by Airship Syndicate, same developers who created Battle Chasers for both console, PC, and mobile. Also the publishers of THQ Nordic. So Darksiders Genesis takes a whole different view than the other games, from the usual third person perspective to a top down game such as the Diablo series games. They also also introduced the last horseman we've all been wondering what he looked like and the name of that one is Strife with dual guns. So this is a prequel before the first Darksiders happened. No, you do not need to play the others to understand what this one is. This is the very first one, so hopefully you'll enjoy this review. After certain events would happen on Eden, War and Strife have been given a new assignment to go after Lucifer, the Demon King. He has been plotting to upset the balance by granting new power to the master demons throughout Hell. War and Strife must hunt down these masters to gather enough information to find their way towards Lucifer before before he forever upsets the balance and unravels all of creation. So far in my personal gameplay experience, I have played the majority of the Darksider series, and this one kind of changed from what I'm used to seeing from the Darksider games, but nothing says that was a bad idea at all. But you would think Darksider Genesis would be just like all the other games that they've created before. But so far from what my experience in the gameplay, even though there are some issues with the PC version, nothing to make me stop playing the game at all, but the controller is definitely needed when playing Darksiders Genesis. The features for Darksider Genesis are blasting angels, demons as the horseman strife, he's the playable for the first time, swap between war and strife in single player mode, explore the world of the Darksiders, cause havoc and destruction in co-op player mode, experience a brand new campaign that takes place before the other Darksider games, grow in strength and power as you collect items, abilities, weapons, and enchantments, creature cores, and more. So this game has a lot more in-depth than the other Darksider games, especially now being able to switch between two horsemen rather than just the other games where you just have one throughout the entire game. In this way, the game is playing like a Diablo style game, but let me point out it is not a Diablo clone. There is no leveling up, there is no new gear, you are mainly focusing on the simplistic system of assigning souls of monsters that you have killed into a skill tree while buying new moves and upgrades after each level. Now the pros for this game are great story, great gameplay, great graphics, runs smoothly without any issues, balanced skill sets, a good price for $29.99 on Steam, a good co-op system, easy to join, no looting or massive skill trees, but there are some cons for this game. Nothing tells you what enemies drop, the map isn't well done, nothing to indicate where exactly you're located, small bugs, boss glitching and bugging out just a little bit here and there, and no mini-map, which is kind of frustrating. Even though with its small issues, this game is really good. I do recommend it for anyone that loves the Darksiders series and play at least The Last Horseman. So far, a lot of good comments about it being very good as Darksiders 1 and 2. Darksiders Genesis gets an awesome rating of a must have for all Darksiders fans and those wanting to start the series. But thank you for liking, commenting, and definitely subscribing.